So if you resent your newborn for getting all the attention, you are not a monster. You are a very normal human. I repeat, you are not a monster. Because what happens is when we're pregnant, we get a ton of attention, right? Like people are carrying our groceries and talking about how we're glowing and it's like all about us. Even strangers are curious about like our lives and our innermost thoughts and like literally what's what's going on inside our bodies. So we kind of get used to like all this attention and all this interest and then bam, the baby's born and it can feel like we are completely invisible. All focus goes to the baby. And sure, this can be nice at times if like you're exhausted and some family comes over and they just want the baby, you can sneak away and rest for a little bit. Um, so it's not all bad, but it can also feel like, um, hello, like I'm still here, this unique individual. But what I felt like was that I became like a spokesperson for my baby. Like people would come and talk to me, but they would keep their eyes on him the entire time and pretty much all they would ask me about were his eating, pooping, sleeping habits. And again, I was just like his spokesperson. Nobody really cared much about how I was doing with the exception of my mother and my husband. Um, and of course there's exceptions, but it just seems like most people are, are all about the baby. And so for me, a big part of my frustration was that these these interactions were like a physical man manifestation of what was going on in my head. I too felt like all of my thoughts and all of my attention was on my newborn. I had totally become disconnected from what made me an individual. I felt like I was just like, oh, mommy, all the time. And and that was frustrating. It made me feel resentful of my my son at times. Um, that obviously doesn't feel good. You know, these feelings started to fade as he became older and he became less dependent on me. And because motherhood screws with your head like this, when he does start to become less dependent, I was like, oh, I kind of wish he was still dependent on me. So it's crazy making. Um, so what to do? You know, the thing is, we we can't change other people. We can't change the fact that, especially when we have this like adorable little baby, that people aren't going to be primarily focused on the baby. We can't change that. But what we can change is how we feel about ourselves. And if we start connecting to, again, what makes us feel like us, what makes us feel like an individual, it's it's easier to, to stomach being ignored by a lot of people. You're like, you know what? I'm cool. I'm like grounded in who I am. It's, it's good. And we resent the baby less typically. Um, and so what to do? make a list. So to do this list, the first thing you want to do is create a list of all the things that make you feel like you. So this list can contain things as simple as taking a shower every day or organizing the closet or as elaborate as creating a graphic novel or starting that business you've always dreamt of. Um, and then from there, you put the items on the list into three categories. So the first category will contain the, the actions that are absolutely essential. For example, taking a shower every day, going on a walk three times a week. And, and these should be prioritized immediately. These are the things that you bring to your support group and say, okay, like, what do we need to do for me to be able to take these actions every day, every week? I, I have to do it now. Uh, the second category will consist of things that are really important to you, but can wait for about six months because around six months is when baby is a tad less dependent on you and can be with, with others for longer periods of time. So for me, Two of the main things that I incorporated back into my life at that six month mark was meditating for 15 minutes a day and writing for one hour every day. Okay, and so the last category will be the, the actions that um, you will bring back into your life after baby's first birthday. This is usually when you feel more comfortable having consistent childcare. You and the baby are probably sleeping more regularly. You're just feeling more like yourself. You're in the rhythm. You know your baby. And again, you can start doing more for yourself. Um, for me, this is when I be became or became a hypnobirthing practitioner, started teaching, and, and really started to, to focus on my, my writing career.
Um, and then finally, use the list. Put this pull out the categories list whenever you're like feeling disconnected to you, whenever you need to, to ground yourself, whenever you feel that like resentment towards all the attention your baby's getting, again, very normal, and that starts bubbling up, pull out that list, use it, and remember that you deserve it, you know? I'll go back to the very true cliche that, you know, we are, we are better mothers when we're honoring ourselves. Put the oxygen mask on yourself first. Sorry, I had to say it. All right, if you have any questions about this or anything else about pregnancy, childbirth, early motherhood, go ahead and let me know in the comments below.